Everyone here at Parallax is very excited for Maker Faire New York, and we've put together a really neat in-booth activity for you to complete. But we also don't want to leave out those of you who can't make the trek to Maker Faire this year, so whether you're joining us in our booth or you're at home, we're going to show you how to make your very own portable radio using the P8X32A Quick Start Board and FM Radio Receiver Module from Parallax. Let's get started. To complete this activity, we'll need a few things. A P8X32A Quick Start Board, FM Radio Receiver Module, two pluggable wires with the female ends bent at a 90 degree angle, headphones, and a 9 volt battery with battery clip. Now the core of this activity focuses on the propeller microcontroller, which is a multi-core microcontroller with eight different processors, or as we call them COGS, all on one chip. Now that means the propeller is capable of executing up to eight different tasks all at the same time. It's a pretty awesome chip if we do say so ourselves. So today we're going to use the propeller's native programming language SPIN to complete our activity. The P8X32A Quick Start Board has eight LEDs and eight resistive touchpads hardwired to pins on the propeller chip. First, we'll take you through the basics of turning on and blinking these LEDs. Then, we'll learn how to read the touch button states and turn on an LED when they're pressed. Now, the beauty of SPIN is that it's an object-oriented language, meaning that we can incorporate other people's programs into our code, which will do most of the hard work for us. So when we're done today, we'll have a portable radio which uses the touch pads to seek for a station, adjust the volume, and give us LED feedback for the current volume level. Use the schematic and picture to connect the FM radio receiver module to the quick start board. Make sure that the pluggable wires are bent so that the module fits snugly on the board. After you complete the code activities at Maker Faire, connect the 9 volt battery clip to the 2 pin header on the board, unplug the USB cable, and then plug in the 9 volt battery, and you are ready to jam on the go. And now you're ready to impress your family and friends with this portable radio that you created. Just maybe leave out the part on how easy the propeller made it and kind of talk it up a bit. And until next time, happy jamming! <laughs>